week we're talking about dresses and wedges. In the British summertime, a dress and wedges goes together like fish and chips. It's just a perfect combination. I love wearing dresses in the summer because it's so easy, just underwear dress and you're done. And wedges are brilliant because although I am as much a fan of a high heel as the next girl, for sure, uh, there is no fun in having a heel that's sinking into grass and being outside in the summertime you just want something you can run around in a little bit, you know, within reason, um, that's not a complete taxi shoe because it's just silly when you just could be outside having a nice time. A dress and wedges is a great combination but how to make it work because a wedge can have a really quite disproportionately weird effect on the whole silhouette of your body, I find. It really throws things off kilter and a dress that's, that's completely normal with any other shoe, you put it on with a wedge and suddenly it just looks bizarre. So there is a bit of practice needed to be able to combine your dress and your wedge. So I thought today we'd just have a look at a few nice summer dresses and a few nice summer wedges and see what works together. This one that I'm wearing here, this is Sophia Kokosalaki and the dress is kind of very sort of well wonky I think is how what we call these kind of dresses and so to balance that we've got these shoes which are by the label the Couples, a French brand and um, they're very kind of slim wedge and quite delicate but they've got a two-tone so they're quirky enough to match up with the dress. It's a bit like matching wine and food, you've just got to find some kind of complementary elements and then a little bit of contrast. So our first combination that we're going to have a look at today this is such a beautiful dress. I absolutely love this dress. This is Roxander Alinchic. Such a gorgeous colour combination. Now you see, I would put this with these ones. These are Alexander McQueen. And they're kind of amazing, quite full-on wedges. I think they really bring out the sort of rock chick spirit of the dress. The kind of drapey t-shirt makes it a bit more nonchalant and just very chic combination, I think. Next up. We have a dress by Zoe Jordan. This kind of very boxy shape of dress I think can be difficult to wear with a wedge because you just, it's as if you've squared off all the kind of curvy bits of your body somehow and you just end up looking a bit like a stack of cardboard boxes, it's not very attractive. So with this dress I would choose something like this shoe here, this is Autograph from Marks and Spencers, um, which it's kind of similar, obviously has that sort of tonal link and also has somehow, they both look a little bit sort of 30s or 40s, I think with the T-bar of the shoe and the sort of that kind of rose gold metallic lace and the metallic is a nice tie-in as well, so I think that works quite well. Next up, a printed dress, this is Etro, this one, but there are lots of versions of this around. Um, now, to be honest, what I'd put with this, I'd go with just, just pile crazy on crazy. I think that works really well. It's not probably what you'd reach for with a dress like this because it feels like it's doing its own thing but in a way it's nice to link the whole look and it looks more of an outfit from head to toe rather than you're wearing a dress and then you've got some boring old shoes on with it. This dress is L'Envin. Um, it has these amazing kind of sculpted little shoulder pads. Very slinky. Um, I mean, obviously, this could be an indoor cocktail dress with just a really fabulous, nice, bare black stiletto, but I think it could have another kind of life. These are Polini. That's quite sort of a bit 70s and very graphic and just gives the whole look a little bit more quirk, I think. And then lastly, this is a really beautiful dress, Santonio Berardi. Absolutely love these dresses. Just such a gorgeous, gorgeous shape to them. I love this here. It's a kind of modern take on a sweetheart neckline that's just so elegant and really beautiful. Panelling here done in a kind of posh way of the uh, slightly in your face optical illusion trend. Um, now again you'd probably see that and think like you know like a nice gold sandal or a black high heel but I also think it works really well with something a bit different. Seems kind of almost sacrilegious to put it with um, Aldo but that's what we're going to do. I love that colour combination. I just think tomato and that kind of sea greeny turquoise looks so beautiful together and uh, love the outfit. 